This morning, a family in West Virginia demanding change after their 13 year old son died after a tackle during football practice. And this happened on the same day that another young player in Alabama passed away. Cleo Green is in our newsroom this morning with more, and it's a heartbreaking story as we are getting ready for Friday night, Friday night lights here in Texas and puts a focus on the dangers around youth sports. Cleo. Yeah, Mark, you know, this is truly a heartbreaking story. And like you said, high school football season is about to start here in Texas. More than 1,000 high school teams from across the state are going to step out on the field this week representing their school and their community but the death of those two students it is truly raising some red flags once again about football safety from West Virginia 13 year old Cohen Craddock here died over the weekend from a head injury during football practice Craddock a defensive lineman was hurt while making a tackle on Friday his father said he was wearing a helmet and got back up after the collision took a few steps then lost consciousness Cohen's father now vowing to help prevent future tragedies by getting other players soft shelled helmets Helmet covers called guardian caps in Alabama on the same day a 16 year old high school QB died after suffering a brain injury during a football game Caden Toller's family said he got hurt during a routine tackle now the National Center for Catastrophic Sports Injury Research found that deaths during football games they're rare last year out of nearly 2 million players from youth leagues up to the NFL, there were 16 reported fatalities. Mark? Yeah, Cleo, we've got high school football kicking off this week in Texas for so many schools, and school leaders here have been talking about keeping kids safe on the football field. What are they doing? You know, that's a good question. The UIL, the governing body over Texas high school sports, requires coaches to complete training on how to coach proper tackling. Officials say the overwhelming majority of coaches here in Texas have already done the training and are fully certified. Mark? I got to keep those kids safe. Thank you for that, Cleo. Uh, and you did hear Cleo mention those guardian caps that go on top of helmets. They've been used in NFL practices since 2020. This year, the league is allowing them in games for the first time. You kind of wonder if they're good enough for practice and they keep you safe. Why not in games? Well, now they'll have them. Commissioner Roger Goodell says that they reduce concussions by more than 50 percent.